Okay, this is your uh, announcements, assignments, and updates for week seven. That's the week beginning on Monday, October 5th. Okay, uh, first of all, I've got your exams graded. If you didn't take it, I have not yet put in a zero, but because um, I didn't take the time to check to see who I might have extended, but uh, that will run out soon. And uh, when that happens, since the uh, um, I extended for people who asked for it until now, but you've had quite a while to get that done, so uh, that will be that will be closed off, and those will become zeros. If it's just a dash, it averages it into zero anyway. Okay, that's done. The week of Monday, October fifth, there's there's two assignments. One of them is the Chapter Four quiz, twenty four, yeah, Chapter twenty four quiz. And just in case you're confused about that, that doesn't mean you have to wait until Thursday the 8th to take it. It it opened, let me see, it's going to open here in about 20 minutes. And um, you'll have through Thursday night, a minute before midnight, to take it. So, so a quiz is always open for 96 hours. It does look like you could find a way to get in there and get it fixed. Okay, the other assignment is the first of the three assignments pertaining to sources and writing a paper. Now, there's nothing there about it now except a document explaining how to distinguish between sources. <coughs> unless, unless the department has changed its mind, and it could be a surprise there, uh, there's a little quiz that you can't study for. It's not something you would study for. Um, but I've told you about it before. There's 10 questions and they're in pairs. Each pair of questions, the first question would have an active link to a source and you would answer, you would look at the source, determine whether it's primary, secondary, or tertiary and indicate that as your answer to the first question. The second question in the pair will be for you to write me an explanation, more than just a few words, preferably a three sentence at least paragraph, explaining why you classified it the way you did. That's not there yet. I don't really know where it is. So hence my not being completely certain, but what somebody's mind may have changed on this. In fact, they may have reduced it to two assignments. I'll, I guess one thing I definitely wanted to put into this uh, announcement video is keep track of this keep checking this uh, site as the week goes by because somewhere along the way I'll expect to know more about it and post the thing now this being my uh, first long semester uh, to be able to do videos I'm perpetually running behind so please don't get the idea that whatever you see when you look uh, at this module on Monday is all there's going to be I'm trying my best to keep up with videos and uh, video lectures. I'm falling behind with that. So, uh, some, and I've still got my 1301 exams to grade. All the 1302s are done. Went a little faster than I, than I thought it would, so I'm relieved about that. Haven't started in on the bonus worksheets yet, and this is going to be a busy week for things unrelated to school. So, we'll see. I, I may have to give up sleeping. <laughs> Anyway, do keep checking and do definitely watch the videos. That's the equivalent of going to class. If you don't do what I tell you to do and you don't read the supplements and you don't watch the videos, then that would be the first question I ask if you have, why did I make a low grade? That's why you made a low grade. It's a little discouraging that so few people show me any sign that they've actually done any preparation. Okay, um, so that will do it, I believe. Keep checking somewhere along through the week. If we're going to have the little 10 question quiz, that will become available to you. Again, it's not something you have to study for other than being very, um, being sure you have a quiet, have a confident grip on distinguishing between primary, secondary, and tertiary sources. Okay, there may be a, uh, week seven announcements, uh, part two, or even part three, before it's over, new key.
keep checking. Have a nice week. Already thought of a thing or two to add to your week seven instructions. Um, if I have emails occasionally, like when's this due, when's that due. The schedule of assignments, which lays out the entire semester, is posted at the Canvas sites in the top module. General course, pardon me, schedule of assignments. Now, if you look at that, you will find that uh, the outside class assignments, the little quiz is not strictly outside class. It does count, by the way. Um, that is not due Thursday. That will be due, that will open whenever I get it put up there, and I'll do that as soon as I can. But that remains open till midnight on Sunday, October 11th. So you have more time. You have more time to do that. Okay. The other thing I wanted to alert you to, <coughs> but that's good news. I, I think it's going to be good news pertaining to the mechanism of taking tests. We've been using the Respondus products, particularly the Lockdown Browser and the Respondus Monitor. It's been nothing but trouble. Most of my students were able to use those without any glitches, but last week I spent two days pretty much not doing anything but answering emails, filing tickets, stuff like that. I can't just leave somebody hanging. I won't do that. I'll help you out all I can, but I got other things to do. And the college has been working on this for a while, but they're going to make available to us starting Monday, October 5th, another online proctoring service, which um, does not require you to download software. It uh, is very likely to have far, far fewer hardware, hardware software related problems. It is called Honor Lock. I haven't even seen the, the video on it yet, but unless something really spooky comes out about it, and I don't think it will, I'll be switching to that for the remaining exams. I can't tell you anything about it right now. There was a Zoom meeting about it last Friday that I was unable to participate in, but they're supposed to post that for faculty to see. They just haven't done it yet. So that should eliminate most or all the problems people have had. I will tell you this. It's not going to have any problem running on a Chromebook. Chromebooks will be fine. It will not run on tablets or smartphones. We're, we're not doing that. We'll have to be a computer, but there won't be the problem with with Respondus products, which simply were not compatible with Chromebooks. This will be compatible with Chromebooks. So I guess that gets us up to date on that, and I'll patch this on too.